Hi friends, this is Anika. In this video, I'm going to show you how I'm going to keep a list of all the books that I'm going to read in the year 2020. I want to be more intentional with what I'm reading and just enjoy what I'm reading, but I wanted to see what I have read throughout the year. So I'm going to start with the first quarter. And I want to show you guys um, a either quick method of how you can record your books in your planner. So I chose to use my Fobonichi. So stay tuned. But first, if you would like to be a part of my creative team, click that red subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you would not miss any of my uploads. Comment below because your girl love to hear from you. And if you are motivated and inspired by this video, give me a thumbs up. Let's go. Okay, friends, so what I've decided to do is make a half sheet in my Fobonichi planner. I want to actually keep um, the insert inside this particular planner because this is all about me. And I'm going to use the journaling doodling book The um, because I saw some books in here like stackable books that I can actually use um, here to do my my spread and to track my books that I want to read I also wanted to use the other journaling book because it has the months in there that are gold so I'm gonna have gold um, in here and then I also was thinking about the floral book, but I wasn't sure if I want to use florals for this. Um, I'll keep that from some, for other spreads, but I wasn't sure yet. So what I was going to do. So I pull out these alphabet stickers because I want to do a header which says reading list. So what I plan on doing is writing down all the books that I'm reading for the year but I decided that I wanted to just start with the first quarter so I'm gonna talk to you a little bit of why I came up with this um insert for my Fobonichi and basically I want to start tracking a little bit more in my Fobonichi not just you know, getting my nails done or my hair done or anything like that. But I have other things that I actually um, do. I also want to track like when I make a blanket for somebody, a crochet blanket, or if I um, make some clothes, crochet clothes for babies or um, just anything in that nature. I want to have a record of or a picture of the things that either I give away or I made um, because I, I wouldn't do that. So anyway, I want to make sure, like I am really want to be intentional about everything that I'm doing. I'm starting off this way. I'm motivated. So once I get that urge to do something, I'm going to do it. So, um... Here I was just looking for an L and I couldn't find an L, so a capital L. So I decided I had to make my own L. But anyway, I'm going to still talk to you while I'm planning um, this. So I, I always kind of read, but um, I never tracked what I was reading. So the end of October... I decided that I want to go and and have more time for me, more time reading and less time doing other stuff. Because if I'm requiring like my kids to read an hour or something like that, well, I want them to see me reading. Now, I don't necessarily get the physical book. 
I like to buy books off of my Google Play. So I have a lot of books off of there. But so the end of October, beginning of November, I think it was. I'm trying to make sure those are the dates. I can tell you in November, I read at least four to five books. Maybe it was before that. So I'm going to go back because I think it was before October or maybe it was beginning of October, but whatever. I read four books, but altogether, um, I read seven because there's a series that I, I'm reading um, on by Kimberla. The author is Kimberla Lawson. I think that's her name. I know it's Kimberla Lawson. I don't know if it's hyphenated or something else, but anyway, that is that's the uh, um the author that I'm reading. So she has several books, and I've read some of her books a long time ago. Um, but I never read this Curtis Black series. So I decided that I wanted to read it and it was just awesome. So I started reading those books. But anyway, um, there's other books that I want to read, but I want to get, I love those books. And then I want to get some self-help help books. I want to get some business books. I want to get... Um, just really interesting romantic type books funny books you know make you laugh and so I'm going to make that happen this year I basically started at the end of the quarter of last year so I never recorded them I never wrote down the books that I've read I have them on my google play but I want it now to see it in my planner so I decided that I'm only going to um, start off for the first quarter. It doesn't matter if I read one, two, three, five, ten books in one month or one quarter. It doesn't matter to me. I just want to keep a record of it. So I am reading my my first book. So... Hopefully, I'm going to finish this book maybe by Thursday so I can start another book. And so, um, yeah, that's, that's how it's going to go. Um, and this is just going to be for me um, to see what the growth is. And even if I want to take notes, um, I can start a reading um, journal telling you about or telling myself what this book is about and it what I learned from this book whether it's fiction or non-fiction you can always learn from something something may just say something in a book that just sparks your interest but yeah I just want to um go ahead and you know f read books and just be more intentional about um, doing things out of the ordinary or out of the box and reading things out of the box. So I hope that um, you can start your journey. That's only if you want to. But let me know. Let me know are you reading any books and what books you're reading? Because I want to know. I'm very interested in finding some really good books. So um, not necessarily mean that I want to be in a part of a book club or anything like that. Because I like to read on my own leisure. But I do like book clubs because you can talk to other people about the book and see how they felt about the book. Cause I was a part of a book club and I really, um, enjoyed it. And we actually met, um, before. So it's, it's really interesting and I really enjoyed it. But, um, right now I'm just going through all the sticker books to see, um, if I want to give this, insert some color to it or whatever but I decided that I can use my um midliner to is it midliner it's on mild liners I think it's mild liners 
well, let me just say highlighters, okay? <laughs> so, I know I have some Settlers highlighters, but I just want to make sure, like, I can give it some color by using them. And, um, and I will show you probably towards the end of the quarter what I've read and stuff like that. So, this is all I'm going to do right now for. So, this is my completed spread. But just let me know if you have some good books that you can recommend to me um, so I can read. So, I will see you on my next video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. This is Anika saying goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.